Welcome, I'm Antonio, head pizza chef and mathematician. Today, I will divide using partial quotients. Partial quotients is a method to solve a division problem by dividing by common multiples and subtracting the differences until the division problem is complete. Enough small talk. My three chefs need to make 484 slices of pizza. I can divide 484 slices by three chefs to determine how many slices they will each make. I'm using the partial quotient method, so I will write 484 here and 3 here. I ask myself, how many times can 3 go into 484? I don't have to be exact. I know that it will go in at least 100 times. I write the 100 here. I need to see how close that got me. 100 times 3 equals 300. I subtract 300 from 484 to see what I have left to divide. 184. Again. I don't have to be exact, just look for something close. I know that 3 times 6 equals 18, so 3 will go into 184 at least 60 more times. 60 times 3 equals 180. I subtract that to see what I have left to divide. 4 is left. That's easy. I know 3 will only go into 4 one time. 1 times 3 equals 3, so I subtract that from 4. There is 1 left. 1 is smaller than 3, so that will be my remainder. The partial quotients are over on the right. I add those up to determine that final quotient. 100 plus 60 plus 1 equals 161. I represent my 1 remainder as 1 third, since there was 1 left after dividing by 3. My chefs will have to make 161 slices each. They can share the task of the remainder. Now on to cheesy bread. Four chefs need to make 625 pieces of cheesy bread. I divide 625 pieces by four chefs to determine how many pieces they will each make. I ask myself, how many times can four go into 625? I don't have to be exact. I know that it will go in at least 100 times. I need to see how close that got me. 100 times four equals 400. I subtract 400 from 625 to see what I have left to divide which is 225. Again, I don't have to be exact, just look for something close. I know that 4 goes into 20 five times, so 4 times 50 would get me 200, which is close. I subtract to see what I have left to divide. 225 minus 200 equals 25. 4 times 6 equals 24. That leaves 1, which will be my remainder. I add the partial quotients on the right to determine the final quotient. 156. I represent the remainder as the fraction 1 fourth. My four chefs will each need to make 156 pieces of cheesy bread, and one chef will get to make one extra. Thanks for dividing with me today. Time to get cooking.